Hi guys! So today we are going to be doing my makeup collection. It's really messy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna like declutter it and reorganize it after this video. I think I'm pretty happy with my makeup collection right now, so I don't think I'll be adding that much to it for a while. By the way guys, I use cruelty-free makeup only unless someone gives me makeup as a gift, so if a brand is not cruelty-free, I will let you guys know. Otherwise, the brands in this video should be cruelty-free. So I have an Ikea desk, and I have the Alex drawer unit, because every YouTuber, like, has it. So it's just the five drawer one, it's not the nine drawer one. And I only keep makeup in these two drawers. We're gonna move this, it's my camera battery. I'll do a room tour some other time. So let's be real, the best part of makeup collection videos is the, like, ASMR. So outside of my, like, drawers, I also have my Mario Badescu spray, first aid beauty, face cream, and my... Zoom Zoom lip balm that Harmony bought me for my 16th birthday. These are my other brushes that I keep outside of the drawer, so they have a pride flag with them. So they're like BH Cosmetics. This one's, I think it's an e.l.f. brush. Yeah, it's an e.l.f. highlighter brush. And then there's like my very first brushes, which were Essence of Beauty. This is my first drawer. This is the stuff I use a lot more. These are my Morphe brushes. My aunt bought them for me for Christmas um, in 2017. And so I love them a lot. They have like every brush I could ever ask for. Then this is my like everyday stuff. And then this is like other stuff. So starting over here, we have my sponges. This is a Morphe sponge. This is a Real Techniques one that I just got yesterday. It's a baby. And then this is another Real Techniques one, the first one I ever got. So it's really dirty and I should throw it out. Then below that, we have my Kylie lip kit things and a couple brushes from Juicy Couture that Ethan got me for Christmas. We did Secret Santa. So these are my Kylie lip kits. I have Bear. This is Bear. And this is Candy K. I don't really wear them that much because Bear is too light for me because <laughs> turns out I am very tan. And then the other one, I don't know, I mean I do wear it sometimes, but like, not much. And then they have the lip liners that came with them. So here's my everyday stuff. We have a lot of the like round things over here, and then these are like my bigger products. This is a shoebox lid, by the way, and this is the shoebox DIY queen right here. So right here we have my Milani face powder. It's in beige because Manny MUA used it in a video, so I was like, I want that, so I bought it. And this is actually my second one, I think, of it, and I think I have a refill in there because I am hitting pan right there, so... It's, it's a good powder, I like it. And it matches my skin tones. Moving on, this is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This has also hit pan. It's very nice, very good. It smells like chocolate, so keep your mouth closed when it's like... Because it, it's got like, kick up. It's classic. This I just got yesterday, I'm very excited. It is the... Uh, I got it dirty today because I was rushing for senior portrait photos. But this is the Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. I am a highlighter addict, I have so many highlighters. It's a lot like Champagne Pop by Becca, I'm not gonna lie. This is my most expensive makeup... Oh, is it? I think this is my most expensive makeup product. It is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Luminous Bronze Light. It was 50 bucks, but it is gonna last forever because it literally, I literally like haven't made a dent. But it's very like, you know, glowy, natural kind of for me, so. This was the very first high-end purchase I ever did. It was the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. It is a classic. It like hasn't gone down. I bought this as a freshman and I'm gonna be a senior now. And it literally looks the same and I use it all the time. I love it. It's a classic and it makes you look so good. This is my Becca bronzer. It is in Maui Nights. I love this because it, it's so warm toned and it makes me look so like tan, but it's like I need to apply it with a light hand. Otherwise I look way too like intense, <laughs> but I love it. I love it. This is my Milani baked blush in Luminoso. I wanted this because Kathleen Lights always used it. It's nice to give you like a glowy sort of blush look and it comes with a brush that I use. This is my current favorite blush right now. I, I've been doing these two as my current favorite blushes. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Parde. It's like a sample size. I bought it from one of our color guard um, girls before. So it looks like this. It's nice. It gives you a nice natural blush look and I like it. This is my butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. Ariane bought it for me because it was on my champs wish list sophomore year. It's good. It's a cream. I haven't been using it lately, so I actually might move it. Comes with this brush or sponge. I don't know. It smells good. It smells good. And then back here we have my NYX um, gel eyeliner. It is just in jet black. I don't really use it too much. I'm more of a pencil eyeliner person or like eyeshadow liner. I don't know. I kind of avoid liner. This is not cruelty free, but my wife bought it for me for my 16th birthday. Netta bought this for me. It is the Neutrogena Revitalizing Lip Balm. It's got SPF 20 and it is in Sunny Berry, so it gives my lips a like nice hue, I guess, of pink. It's good, I like it, but sadly it is not cruelty free, so I can't repurchase it after. This is another Real Techniques brush. I was using it to apply the butter bronzer sometimes. That's why it's in here. I might move it. So this is a NYX Eye and Eyebrow Pencil. It is in black. It's my liner. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. And then this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Regular Mascara. I use this one a lot more because 
The waterproof one is really hard to take off. Like, it's good, but like, it's hard to take off. Like, even days after, it'll like still be there. So, I prefer to use this one. It's really good. I love that mascara. It's a classic. We have my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. I have not used this in a hot minute. It used to be my favorite. This is my current one that I've been using. This is my old Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in Auburn. This is my old one. Need to throw it out. But it's great. I like it. it I got it because it was on sale. <gasps> Baller. So this is my current one now that I've been using. I'll put that out here. It's good because my hair's been dyed lately, so it finally matches my hair color. So that's cool. This is my Shiseido Lash Curler. I got it because Patrick Star always uses it, and it's pretty good. I don't know if it's cruelty-free, so I'm not sure about that. I don't, I don't know. But I wanted it because Patrick Star always used it, and I have Asian eyes, and he said it works for it, so. Yeah, then this is my Beauty Bakery Lollipop Liner. It's a liquid liner, and I actually figured out how to do liquid liner recently. But I also found out it doesn't look great with my eyes. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. This is my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, and it is in Brunette. That was the color I used to use of the eyebrow pencil. So if I ever want like a really natural look, I can use this. It's kind of like Boy Brow by Glossier, so... In my opinion, I don't know, I've never used that, but that's how it looks to me, so... This is my Tarte Maneater Mascara. I really like this mascara because it's like natural looking, but it's gotten really hard to open because like, I don't know, like... The way my mascara like crusted around it made it hard to open, but I used to use this all the time with my false lashes. Now I use the Better Than Sex one because this is so hard to open and I'm lazy. But yeah, this is my e.l.f. Uh, lip lacquer. I needed this for Color Guard. It's just a clear like, it's like a lip gloss, but it's a lacquer and it's not sticky, so I like it. It kind of needs reapplication though, but you know, what can you do? This is my old NYX eye coal, so it's just a black eye coal. It's super small now. I might move that. This is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. It's really great. It makes my brows stay. Like, they are stuck. This is my Perversion Mascara, Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. It is really intense, and I like it. Um, it's a little bit wetter than the other mascaras that I use, but I like it. You know, it's thicker. This is my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, because, you know, Bethany Moto always used to use this, so I was like, I'm going to use it, and it works. It helps out. This is my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil. It is just the black one. I got it with my Troublemaker Mascara. The Troublemaker Mascara sucked, but this is pretty good. It's very smooth. Very smooth. And then this is not cruelty-free. This is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Brown Waterproof Eyeliner. I needed this, or I got this when I was like in 7th grade, and I didn't know about like cruelty-free makeup back then. So, there's that. And moving along, this is my like most used palette these days. It's the Tarte Let Toasted palette. I love it because it's so natural. They're all like brown shades and stuff. It's really versatile. Love it, love it, love it. Then this over here is my Lime Crime Venus palette. I got it on Black Friday a couple years ago, I think. It's so pigmented. It's great. Their palettes are really great, although they are pricey, I would say. That's why I didn't, haven't bought any new ones, <laughs> although they have some. These ones are like peachy tones and stuff, so... Ah! I don't know why I keep that up here. I'm probably going to move that. These are my Kiss uh, Little Black Dress Lashes. I bought them because they didn't have the flirty lashes at my Ulta for some reason that day. Um, but here are the flirty lashes. Ethan bought these for me last Christmas as part of my Secret Santa gift. They are wildin' because these are like all used. And I don't know how to clean fake lashes, but the flirty ones, I love them. And then I bought these ones as a replacement because I couldn't find them. And they honestly look pretty similar. I'm wearing the Little Black Dress ones today for my senior portraits. Um, and you saw it on the intro. I trimmed them so then I have those and I can also wear those as lashes when I want a more natural look. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. I was so excited to get this, but honestly I haven't really used it that much. But it's very pigmented and gorgeous. And look at those colors. Oh my god. Yes, queen. They're so pretty. I use the rose gold one. Moving on, this is my Kiss Lash Glue. I really like the ones. It's the, sh like, the one you brush on. I like those more because Therese let me borrow one that was like that, so I fell in love with those. They're a lot better than the, like, tube ones, in my opinion. These I just got yesterday. These are the LA Girl Pro Conceals, so I bought them because Nikita Dragon used them. And I always, I always saw people contour with this, and I wanted to try it, but then I, like, didn't. And they were having a buy one, get one 50% off, so... This is in Toast, and then this one is the Lavender one, because I wanted to cancel out, like, dark spots and stuff. And then this I wanted to, to, this I used to contour, and I actually used it today, along with my bronzers. This is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Starstruck. I got this as a gift from my aunt, um, with a bunch of other little highlighters, so it's, like, a little version of it. And I really like it, because it gives me, like, a natural sort of look. Although, actually, today I used it, and I was like, no, it's too white! It made me look, like, unnatural, but oh well. This is another little sample of it. This is not cruelty free. I also actually, yeah, I don't know if Fenty, oh yeah, is it? I think some things have said they are, some things have said they aren't, I don't know. This is not cruelty free, it is Benefit, they're not cruelty free. 
but this came with that. I got like five little highlighters. This is High Beam. I really like it. So if Benefit could like get cruelty free soon, that'd be great. Get on that, guys. That's the like cream highlighter. I have a lot of highlighters. You're gonna want that. This is my Tarte Shape Tape, but this one is way too light for me. And I bought it in the wrong shade, my dudes. Um, I, I thought light sand would work. It does not. This is light sand. So I have this large tube that I cannot really use. These I love, or well this one I love, it's the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I used to use it a lot, I haven't been using it lately because it's been under all that stuff. It is in the shade Medium Tan, I really like it because it's very natural and it smells good. Mel Joy always used to use it so I used it. Last summer I thought I would try the Illumination version of it, I do not like this, it is like too, too sparkly, I don't like it. But I also got it in Medium Tan. So yeah, there's those. And then this is my Morphe setting spray. I got it because of Kathleen Lights. Literally all my stuff comes from YouTube recommendations. It's so fine. Like it's so, th like the mist is so thin. I like, I love it. I don't really know if it does anything, but I use it when I'm doing special occasions. This is my like foundation area. As you can tell, it's like the face stuff. So this is my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Mine's in the shade Sand. I bought it because of Talia Brie, and I really like it. It smells really good, like it smells like cinnamon apples, and it makes my skin look, you know, good. <laughs> this is my Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. As you can see, I'm like, I can't believe I'm this low on it. I bought it back in my sophomore year, so I used it for like color guard events, and mine's in the shade Warm Beige. It's really, it's good, you know, it's a solid choice. Um, I like it. This is my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter foundation and mine's in the shade 300. I got the wrong shade the first time. This oxidizes and it also like the when I got the wrong shade I looked orange. I looked like an Oompa Loompa. I looked like you know it was like sis. Like this is like a risk. I'm wearing it today because I wear it for like I wore it to prom too. You have to like it also dries really fast so you have to put on sections of your face and blend those out before you put on other sections of your face otherwise it won't work out. Like I have some streaks on my neck because it dried before I got there. Um so you gotta like Gotta be careful with this, but it does make your skin look super like soft if you blend it in right. This is my Wet n Wild um, stick foundation. Mine's in the shade Cream Beige. I it's like a big concealer in my opinion. It's like a giant concealer for like my cheeks and stuff. Like it's kind of hard to blend. I think you definitely need to like dampen your sponge and stuff. It's not my favorite in the world, but you know it's here. This is my Elf primer, poreless face primer. Got it because of Instagram. I don't really use it because I don't really use primer. This is my e.l.f. concealer in light. I use this a lot. I really love it. I use it kind of like when I don't want to wear foundation. I use it to like cover up weird splotchy patches on my face. And I also use it like under my eyes if I want. You know, it's very natural and it matches my skin tone and it's cheap. This is my little sample size of the Tarte Shape Tape. I use this a lot lately. I use it with this. Like I use this on like the outer parts of my face and this towards like under my eyes. This one's in the shade light medium, so I've been debating buying a big tube of light medium. This is also a little bit too light for me, so I might need to go a little darker. I like it, and I like that they have the sample size so I could try it out. This is a NYX pigment. I got it because of TikTok. I asked a girl what highlight she was using, and it was this. She looked so good with it. It's just a NYX pigment, like it's not a highlight. It's the pigment in Pop Quiz. For mine, to use a pigment as a highlight, yes queen. This is my Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. This is actually my old one, so I need to throw it away. But I really liked this because it's handy for like when you're traveling and you don't want to like... It's neat to apply. It's got a really good... It's got a good mirror. And then it's got the sponge and then under it is this. And then you open it and you have your foundation. So then you press the sponge in and it works out. This one's running out. It's got SPF 15. I like it. So I'm going to throw this away. I have a new one that I've been using in its place. Ah! So this is a shoebox of things that like I like, but like I don't use them that often. These are my old Kiss Ritzy lashes because of Lisa Fan. But I actually prefer the other ones I have more than these. We have my NYX finishing powder. This one is just translucent. I used it today, but I rarely use it. I wanted to try baking and then I found out I don't like that. I don't really use it, but there's nothing wrong with it. This is my Physicians Formula Mineral Glow Pearls and Translucent Pearl. I got it because of Mel Joy. Um, it's good for like a natural look and like it comes with a brush and mirror, so if you're like on the go. This is my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek and Flexitarian. This is so intense and it stays on all day, so it's really great. I believe Kathleen Lights uses this. It's so good. So good. But it's very intense and one time I put it on my nose and Nika told me I look like Rudolph. So this is my another e.l.f. concealer. Oh, this is new. Yeah, I knew about this. Um, this is, I guess I bought a refill of the e.l.f. concealer at some point. Don't know why because I've still had a fair amount in that. I wanna, like, hold on. I gotta give you guys that ASMR. Oh man, that's so great. Okay. This is a CoverGirl lipstick. CoverGirl has recently become cruelty free, so I needed this for the play that I was in. It is in the shade 425. 
I guess. It is just like mauve red sort of lip color. It looks good. This is not cruelty free. Maybelline is not cruelty free, but my friend Nina bought this for me for my Sweet 16. And I love this. It's so like bright. I love this highlighter. It's the Master Chrome in Molten Rose Gold. It's so good. I broke it. So it does this. I also accidentally stuck my thumb in it. But it's a great highlight, although they are not cruelty free. So that makes me sad because I can never repurchase this. This I got as a gift from Ulta. It is the Tarte Tartist Lip Paint. And I chose the shade Get It because it's like a peachy tone. This is my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. That's right. I specifically said Milk because I say Milk and people will make fun of me. This is my old e.l.f. brow gel and clear mascara. It's I'm pretty sure it's the same product on both sides, so I kind of used it both for my brows, but I don't know why I keep this. It's kind of gross. I'm going to throw it away. This is my old sample size of the Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof mascara, so when I wanted to just try it out. This came with this. Um, it's my Sephora gift. I don't think it's cruelty free. It's Bite, and it is in Chai and Glace, so yeah. It's lip products. I don't really wear lip products because I have a fear of getting it on my teeth and also because then you gotta like reapply it and stuff. Oh, I have another Anastasia brow pencil. This is probably an old one. Yeah, this one's old. We're throwing it away. This is the Wet n Wild highlight in Precious Petals. My friends loved this and it's cheap and it was on sale so I bought it. Um, it's good for a drugstore one. I have way too many highlighters, guys. I think I have a problem. I'm gonna reorganize. This is the Milani uh, Blossom Time Rose Blush. R.E.M. bought it for me for my champs. Last year. It looks like a rose. Isn't that cool? This is a cap to a lip product. Oh wait, these are my first fake lashes. My bad. I don't know what these are. Oh, they're the Demi Wispies by Ardell, I think. I don't think I liked them that much. This is another one of those elf things. We're gonna throw that away. Oh, I have a new one of these. I don't need this, actually, because I've been using the Anastasia one. So maybe I'll give this to someone. I didn't know I had that. This is my NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. Richie bought it for me for a different champ's gift. This is my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Milan. Richie also bought me that. I got a sample of the Tarte Man Eater as a gift from Ulta, and that's why I bought the big size, because I actually really liked this. This is my NYX Away We Glow in Glazed Donuts. It is intense. Like, you don't need a lot of this. It's a highlight thing again. I have way too many. I'm realizing this. So this is a refill of my EOS Lip Balm in Wildberry, because I use that a lot, but I actually haven't needed to open this, so for a long time. This is my Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Highlighter. I got it on Black Friday one year. Um, it's very natural, honestly. Like, you could build it up and make it look less natural. It's, like, small. It's, you know, nice. This is my Milk Makeup, like, highlighter in, I don't know, it's, it's the Luminous Blur Stick, but it came with that highlight gift I got, so that's why I have it. This is my refill of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I bought two of them. It was, it was the sale day. They were both 50% off, so I bought two. This is another highlight I guess I got. It is Artist Couture, and it is in Illuminati. <laughs> Who knew? Um, this is another highlight that I got. This is the, like, Custom Enhancer Drops, and it's in Moonlight, Claire de Lune. Which, by the way, I really love the Ariana Grande Moon perfume, so if someone wants to buy that for me, that'd be cool. This is another gift I got from my wife, so I, it's not cruelty-free. It's the Master Holographic Highlight. It's an 050. This is my refill of the Milani powder because I love it. Over here, this is the thing the cap came from. Tartus lip paint and it is in Birthday Suit. I believe I wore that last year when I did a photo shoot with Amy. This is my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I got this from Ulta as a gift. This is my NYX Soft Matte Metallic Lip Cream in Budapest. We were supposed to use the matte one for color guard. Somebody stole mine, so um, I bought another one, and I didn't realize for a long time it was the metallic one. Like, everyone was like, why are you so sparkly? And we're just like, Allison just sparkles. But then we realized it was metallic. This is my NYX Lip Liner in Disco Rage. I bought it when I was a Care Bear for Halloween, and I needed to draw the heart on my nose. This is my Tarte Sex Kitten Liner. I liked it. It was a sample one that I got as a gift with my like purchase and then this is my Revlon not cruelty free they're not cruelty free my, my Revlon pink lemonade um, lip butter because Bethany Moda always used to use these so when I was in like I don't know sixth grade I wanted one so I bought this one but I don't really wear it moving on to the next drawer these are eyeshadow palettes and then makeup that I don't like or use anymore really so first off these are brushes that I bought yesterday so that's where that sponge came from so I got it on sale at Ulta Real Techniques brushes I use this yesterday. I'm excited to use these. I like their sponges. They're good. This is sun-kissed. So yeah, that's cool. It was only 13 bucks for all that. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I used this a lot because it was covering all my other makeup back in the day, but it's got a lot of like, you know, 
color selection. It's a really good palette. Like, the pigmentation and stuff, Jaclyn's stuff, is great. This is a makeup bag. This is the Urban Decay Naked palette, my first high-end eyeshadow purchase. I used this a lot back in sophomore year. I haven't used it in a long time, though. Urban Decay eyeshadows are not really my go-to things anymore. This is samples of the Tarte Double Duty Beauty. Um, it's got the Shape Tape and the Shape Tape Foundation. This is from Nika. It is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette. She gave it to me for my 16th birthday. So it looks like this. Very nice colors. It's got some highlights too. This is my Morphe 35B Palette. I asked my aunt for this for Christmas a couple years ago because it has all the colors of the rainbow. Every color that I could ever dream of. So when I do like pride things, there you go. This I got for Christmas from my other aunt and I loved it. But I wanted to preserve it because I wasn't able to like find it again. And so it is the uh, Sculpting Face Palette or something like that. And I love it. Like, this highlight was what showed me that white highlighters are actually, like, great. I really liked the bronzer. I really loved this blush. I hadn't tried this one, really. I used that for contour back in the day. I never really used the yellow powder, but I probably could. It's dirty right now. I love this. It's really good. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit. I don't like this. I bought it from, like, a Ross, so it was, like, cheap. But it's not very pigmented. You need to, like, wet your brush or something first. But it's not very good, so I don't really use it that much. But wow, I have a lot of highlighters. This is a problem. This is a Pixie and Chloe Morello palette. I think Netta, my wife, bought this for me for my Sweet 16. So it's got some nice colors. Really tiny mirror. I don't know what you do with that. It's got some blushes. Then this is from Nina. She bought this for me. It is the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air eyeshadow palette, which I also saw Kathleen Lights use, so that was cool. And then this is the Profusion Naturals palette. Richie bought this for me for Champs. It looks like this. It's pretty cool. And then back here, these are two Kleenex boxes I painted back when I was DIY with Ally Dog 15. This is really dusty because it was outside of the drawers for a while because I was reorganizing my room. So I organized this eye stuff and then not eye stuff, so like face products. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. It is really wet. It does lengthen your lashes, I will say that, but it is so wet, so I like hated it. Although I used it recently and that's how I know it lengthens your lashes a lot. I used it when I needed to look like I was crying. For a video, but then I didn't like how that looked because I looked insane. This is my NYX Super Skinny Eye Marker from back when I was actually okay at liquid liner on myself. This is my old Revlon eyelash curler, not cruelty free. These are my old Revlon Color Stay eyeshadow quads, not cruelty free. Um, this one's in Decadent and this one's in Siren. So this one was very natural colors and this was more gray, purple. I used to play around with those a lot in middle school. Like this is this is my middle school makeup basically. This is my Revlon, again, not cruelty free, cream eyeshadow palette. It is in Black Magic. I would play around with this. I actually use these quite a bit, and I liked playing around with it. This is a perfume sample from Sephora. It's in Chloe Yuffon. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> but my friend and I, Olivia and I, went in just for samples back when we were in middle school. This is my old mascara I used to use all the time. I thought it was great at the time, but like now it's like, eh. Did the job. It is the... I think it's Physician's Formula, yeah, Organic Wear, Fun Flared Fit Mascara in Work It, Ultra Black. It was good, you know. This is, the, again, because of Bethany Moda, I actually hate these. They're the Maybelline Baby Lips, again, not cruelty free, but Bethany Moda always had baby lips, so I wanted one, but this thing, like, they're like, it moisturizes your lips and gives color, and I was like, no, it enhanced the chappedness of my lips, so I hated it. It smells good, though. It smells like middle school, though. <laughs> This is my e.l.f. eyelid primer. I hated this because it's white and sparkly. Like, no, I'm trying to look natural. Then over here on my face one, this is a CoverGirl BB cream my mom gave me because she didn't want it because, like, it's too light, but it's also too light for me. It's unfair to light. This is my old Revlon Nearly Naked Powder in light. I think I, would, I used this in middle school when I did plays and stuff, but, yeah, not cruelty-free. This is my Wet n Wild face primer. I don't think it actually did anything for me, so that's why I don't like it. This is my old e.l.f. stick concealer. It is in the shade... Beige. I stopped using it because it matches my skin tone too well. This is my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Primer. I liked this, but again, they're not cruelty free, so... It was a eye primer and brightener. These are my e.l.f. contour palette and bronzer palettes. I used these all the time. This is the contour one. You can see I hit pan on that color. And then this is the bronzer palette. I honestly, I mixed together a lot of the colors. But yeah, I actually used these quite a bit back in the day. Lastly, we have my Revlon Nearly Naked Foundations. I was in plays in middle school a lot, and you're supposed to use foundation that is darker than your actual skin tone because the lights are going to wash you out. So this was my regular shade, which was 
fresh beige and again not cruelty free so you can see there's a lot more of that than the color I used for the plays so the plays I used medium beige it was honestly one shade darker so I don't think it was really that different but you know it was a middle school stage it's very small and then back there I also have makeup sponges and some makeup brushes from my grandma so guys that was my makeup collection I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye